Hey FlossTube, it's Lori of Mischievous Stitches. I'm back today to do a quick review of my newest light. This is the Daylight Foligo. I shared this with all of you in my last um, FlossTube video because I'm going to an upcoming retreat and I wanted something that was small and compact that would travel well that did not have a cord. I wanted a battery operated light and this is the one I chose. Um, and I thought I would give you a quick review of this light. One of the things that I like most about it is just the case and how compact it is. It is a heavy little, heavy little light, but the case is very sturdy. You hear that? It's a very sturdy case. It's gonna protect the light really well as you pack it away in your suitcase or your stitch bag for travel. travel. And it also has a handy little um, handle here, a handy handle uh, for you to carry it around. The only drawback I see about this is your cord. There's nowhere within your case to, to store your cord. So you will have to have maybe a small pouch or something that you can carry this along with you. I did, um, on, after the video on Saturday, I went ahead and plugged this up and um, so it had a good overnight charge. It does recommend to charge it before using it um, for the first time, which I did. And I have been using it off of that charge every night since. So. Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and today is Wednesday, and I still have more than half of a charge. Um, this is the light as you pull it out of the case. Let me show you it within the case. So the case is zippered all the way around, and it fit, fits snugly inside, which is why there's no room for your charging cord. And you're gonna pull it out and it's like sort of like a clam light but it doesn't open up just like that it does tell you exactly how to open it here on the top of the light and you're going to give it a twist of clockwise which is going to turn your actual lamp opposite the base it does say in the owner's manual not to look directly at the led lights when it is on and also know that the bottom does have rubber on both the front and back of the base. So it's gonna give you a good grip, a good hold on the table or the surface that you're, um, you're sitting at to stitch at your retreats. So that's how you open it and then you just pull this up. So this is the arm, but it does extend and I have measured it and it's measured the, um, the height of this arm and it's actually 12 inches from base to light. On the base you have your on off switch as well as your um, your brightness um, where you can control your brightness. So it has three levels of brightness from um, of course dimmer to brighter and then up here when I turn it on you'll see it has an indicator light for your battery power and how much strength you have left. I did read where if it is on only one light because like I said again it was three indicators you have 20 minutes from the time it begins to um, flash uh, before it goes completely dead. Um, I've not gotten to that part yet. As I said, I've been working on it maybe um, an hour, at least two hours, I would say every evening uh, stitching and I still have more than half of a battery charge. So let's turn it on. I'm going to put the light actually behind the camera so you don't see it, but you're gonna see it reflect off the base. So I'm turning it on. So here you can see your indicator light. So I still have two lights, which is um, more than half the strength. And then that is the, this is the dimmest setting, mid-grade, brightest. So far, I have very few negative things to say with the cord being one. The other would be the arm. It will go forward but it will not move backwards. It is the same with the light itself. You can adjust it down, but it's never gonna be more than 90 degrees from the base of the table to, um, to the 
actual light itself. It is easy to also close, so we're gonna turn it off. And then let me show you the controls where you saw that where I went to the dimmest setting, of course, that's the, the subtraction or the negative, and then the positive is to make it brighter. And I'm just gonna, with just a little bit of push, push it back down. And then the other thing is, if you notice there's a sticker there that shows you how to open it and tells you go clockwise, it doesn't tell you it's the opposite, of course, when you're closing it. It does warn you also in the manual to make sure you, that you do not try to force it to go the opposite way from where it's going because you're gonna um, mess up some of the mechanisms inside. But of course, I'm gonna fold it back down and I'm gonna close it up and then it's ready to go back in the case. Now back to the cord. It also warned in the manual um, to only use this block to charge this light. It, it warned that if you used a different block that it could be stronger or not as strong as needed to give the light a, a great charge, which means that it can make, mess up or uh, damage some of the mechanisms within the light, which we don't want. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push this to the side and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna change the angle of the camera and show you what it's, I'm gonna open it back up and show you what it's gonna look like with my stitching. So again, I'm gonna go clockwise, open it up, extend the arm up, fold the light down, turn it on, and it is at its brightest setting. gonna go up just a little bit more to give you a better angle okay so you've got pretty much the whole base of the lamp or the whole um, height and, and base of the lamp so you can see and I'm gonna go down to the dimmest setting and I'm gonna put my current stitch and when I do a tutorial I do like to show this because I will normally get questions but this is by the Bay Needle Arts this is in my father's house and this is the current piece. So as you can see, I apologize, I've got my husband in the kitchen and, and Hank's walking around in the living room so you might hear the tip tap of his toenails. But here's my current stitched piece. And this is on the dimmest setting. This is the mid grade. This is the light. Now, Right now, it is probably an hour or so before dark, maybe an hour and a half. It is a very overcast day here um, in my area, and it's been raining on and off all day. And I chose to do it now because I thought I could showcase the actual light coming from, from this lamp better um, at this time of day than when the sun's shining in through the dining room window. So I hope this helps to showcase it in the best light, at least in my mind, um, that's what it was, would do. So again, and I'm gonna kind of try to zoom in on my stitching if it'll let me, and I can't. I apologize for that. But I'm gonna go back to Dan, and I did, will say is if I'm stitching at a retreat, this is gonna be facing me like this. And if I'm stitching in hand, I'm gonna be just like this, and I can see that with no problems. This is 36 count linen, and I don't have any problems seeing it. I will have my magnification as well to aid in case I can't, but um, there's that. Now I'm gonna fold it back up again, because I do wanna share with you with this, let's turn it off, is that there's a lot of tension in this arm. And again, as you can see, it will not fold backwards. It will only fold forwards. But there's good tension in here. This is um, not a plastic. I, I will say um, these joints right here have little plastic pieces, but this is a, a not a very thin, but a thinner metal. So it, that's part of the, what the weight of the lamp is. And because it has that weight, it's not going to just be bumped by somebody's hand and stitching and fall over. It does have some good weight. But anyway, as you're closing it, there is good tension there. So you do have to put a little oomph to push it down.
but that's a good thing. That means it's gonna, in my mind, it's gonna last over time um, versus something that's made of plastic that slides really easily. There is that tension there. And again, with this, even though this says to turn it clockwise, when you're closing it, you do the opposite and then your light is in the shape of like an S and you're gonna fold that down and fold it down again. I'm gonna lay it in the case and I'm gonna zip it up. So there's the review of my new Daylight Foldy Lamp. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry, it's Foldy Go. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. But so far, I have nothing but positive things to say about it. I'm sure I'll have more things to say after the retreat, but um, so far, very positive. Have a great evening, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.